As a video editor myself, I can tell you that you no longer need crazy powerful PCs with expensive softwares to edit videos. Your Android smartphones are just as capable of doing that and you can create and edit videos on it. And if you want to be the next social media sensation, I think some of these video editing apps will be quite helpful for you to start your journey. Before we go ahead, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell icon as well so that you do not miss out on any of our latest videos. So hello everyone, this is Robinia from Gadgets360 and without any further ado, let's get right on with this video. Power Director is one of the most simple video editing apps on Android. The UI is not at all overwhelming even for first time users. The timeline is very neatly organized and all the effects and tools are at an arm's length. You can easily make a cut in the video clip, you can mess around with the speed of the clip and add various overlays and crop into the video. You can even zoom in and zoom out and also reverse the clip as per your liking. However, the final export will have the power director watermark on it. In order to remove it, you will have to pay a subscription fee which starts at 450 rupees per month. Quick is a video editing app by GoPro. The app does most of the things for you. If you are someone who wants to wind up video edits fast by just adding a couple of songs, some text and trying out a few frame borders, then this app is for you. Upon choosing a video to edit, you can add highlights to the video and you can choose from a bunch of preloaded templates that also have music built into it. You can then add various transition filters and texts. It also shows you the best part of the audio which in my opinion is a pretty neat feature. The third app on our list is Kindmaster. The app contains a lot of professional effects and can be a bit overwhelming for new users. However, it is by far the most powerful video editing app for Android in my opinion. After creating a project, you can choose the dimensions of the file and you can choose from the options given here. You can add a couple of effects from this tab right here. And if you want access to more effects, you will have to visit the Kindmasters asset store and buy the ones you need. You can definitely add text, filters, music, voice recordings and etc. One of the features that caught my eye is the screenshot tab right here. You can capture the frame inside the timeline and use it in your video if you need it. The next app on our list is Vita. Unlike Kindmaster and Power Director, Vita allows you to edit videos while using the phone in portrait. The app is pretty straightforward and has a very neat UI. It will be very easy for first time users to get a tour of the entire app. You can easily make a cut from here and then you can add various effects from here itself. You can choose the ratio of the video from here if you want the video to be uploaded on YouTube or maybe you want it to be uploaded on IGTV and other vertical video streaming apps. The best part about Vita is that you can add GIFs straight from the app. You can of course tweak around with the speed of the clip, borders and etc. Trying various filters onto the video is also very easy. Vita is for sure a feature rich app. In short, not only lets you edit videos but also photos and you can even create a collage on it. You can choose from the preloaded canvas here and then you can add music to the videos. You can then make cuts wherever necessary and also add effects. You can also add frame borders to the video which makes it social media ready. You can of course crop, rotate, speed up or flip the footage as per your liking. The best feature of InShot has to be the freeze frame. In simple words, it lets you freeze the frame and you can then add different things to the frozen clip. Quite a helpful feature if you ask me. So these were the video editing apps that I personally like. Which one will you be choosing to edit your first video ever? Let me know down below in the comment section. And as always, log on to gadgets360.com for more such videos.